King Kridjevskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. And thus began the age of turbulence and anarchy. Two years later, There's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Lahar? Prince, I'm glad you're still alive. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? I was having a hard time waking you up. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Oh, yeah! Big news! Your father, King Krzyzewski, has died! He what? When? Two years ago. Wait a second. So, you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. Yep. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> How bold of them! I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne! <laughs> Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. Now then, time for a little warm-up. I feel a little rusty. Ah, uh, Prince, we've got company. How convenient. Stray demons, huh? Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, pretty squad! Get your butts out here! Now! So, Prince, what do you think of this pretty squad I hired? They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Are you sure about that? See? They're loyal! Does it make sense to beat up your allies before a battle? Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. of them to be so patient. Yeah, that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. Oh, you're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. K kind Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! Damn it! I take it back! I'm gonna beat them all the way to death! Mm, he's still a kid. So quick-tempered. It looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Hmm? You say something! Oh, nothing! Nothing at all! So, 
What are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? a pretty nice place. Oh, that vase would sell for a lot. Fool, that makes us petty thieves. I can't disgrace the name of the overlord. I have to be impartial and... Impartial and... what? Plunder everything! Oh, that's our prince! You're so ruthless! Hey there, you atrocious fiend! You cold-blooded... <laughs> A demon among demons! <clears throat> Quit complimenting me so much. It's embarrassing. Now listen up. I want you to pillage and plunder anything and everything in this castle. Aye, aye, dude. Ha! <laughs> hmm? Is this the last room? Ha! <laughs> Who's there? How rude! Invading a man's house and asking him who's there? But I give you credit for your bravery. Ha! Voila! Forgive moi, I must leave you in awe. My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Vyers? Isn't he the demon that's been knocking off competition for the throne? Oui! That is correct, mademoiselle. I am an aristocrat with both strength and beauty. They call one the Dark Adonis. Young man, I assume that you are the son of the late King Cretesco, are you not? That's right. I'm Laharl, the heir to the throne. The heir to the throne? Ha! That is history, dear boy. Your existence has long been forgotten. Are you blind to the horde of demons lining up to fight for the throne? So, I'm the heir. That's all that matters. If they've forgotten, then I'll just have to make them remember. I see. So you saw my potential and decided to strike first against more? Such wonderful intuition. Well played, son of Krzyzewskoy. I've never even heard of you. It's only a coincidence that we're here. You're just a tiny stepping stone on my path to the throne. <gasps> How dare you! I am the Dark Adonis, my... Who gives a damn about you? Your new name is Midboss. Mid-Mid-Boss? Looks like you hurt his pride, Prince. Unforgivable! That is unforgivable! <laughs> I have underestimated your skill. I took you for but a child. But that was an error in judgment. I am too kind-hearted. Liar! You were serious just now. How pathetic. Nothing's worse than a sore loser. <sighs> what repulsive little brats you are! I shall come to return the favor, so do not forget moi! All right, let's collect the spoils and head home. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Master Etna ran away, which means... Dude, we're gonna have to carry all this? We're Master Etna's vassals, not the princess. Etna's vassals are my vassals. And my vassals do what I say. Now get to work. Dude! Now, now, it's only until next Red Moon, right? I guess you're right, dude. I'll get to work. No, he doesn't suspect a thing. I see, but still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? If he fully recovers, this will become a difficult task. Don't worry. If you leave it to me, the throne will be yours. Are you sure you can deliver on that promise? Yes. Remember, in exchange... I know, 
When I reign supreme as the Overlord, I shall return it to you. <laughs> Yes, I did. Here, Flotten, have a look. The flowers are in full bloom. How beautiful! <laughs> I love these flowers. They are simple yet so bright and lively. I want to be like these flowers. Flotten, listen carefully to what I have to say. Yes? As Seraph, I have orders for you, Angel Trainee Flotten. Go to the Netherworld and assassinate the overlord, King Krajewskoy. Huh? Episode 2, Enter Flan. What is the Seraph thinking? Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? Why all the ruckus, Volcanus? You scared the birds away. Who cares about the birds? I have an important question. Is it true that you sent Flan to assassinate King Krachevskoy? Yes, it is true. What did you do that for? King Krachevskoy is the ruler of that abominable, dirty, rotten netherworld. If you wanted him assassinated, it would have made more sense to send me. Instead, you pick that angel trainee. You think too highly of her. I am very aggravated by this. That is exactly why you are not fit for this task. Besides, this is something that only Flan can accomplish. Whoosh! Min, min, min! Look! Oh! Looks like I made it in without being seen! What do they call those guys in the human world? Oh yes! Ninjas! I always wanted to be one! Maybe I have potential! Nin, nin! But still, is it all right for me to be doing this? The angels all say that demons are evil. But are they really? It doesn't seem fair to judge somebody based on rumors alone. Even if it's the Seraph's orders, I don't feel right assassinating somebody I don't know. Does that mean it's all right to assassinate somebody I do know? Hmm, that seems wrong too. Can't kill strangers. Hmm. Can't kill acquaintances either. Which means. Oh. 
Who are you? And why are you in my room talking to yourself? Ah! Ow! What the heck did you do that for? Oh, I'm sorry. You scared me, so I accidentally... Huh? Is he a demon? There are demons this young? I didn't know that. Hmm. So who are you? Me? Nice to meet you. I'm an assassin. Oops. I wasn't supposed to say that. You're pretty dense, aren't you? My! How rude! Calling somebody you just met dense. I think an assassin that tries to kill someone in his sleep is a lot ruder. You're right. I apologize. Is she really an assassin? It looks like I failed this time, so I guess I'll be leaving now. I'll be back again. Please take care. Hey, wait! Someone, get in here, now! Why are you yelling at this time of night? Oh, did you have a night meal? No, you fool! An assassin has infiltrated the castle! Huh? What happened to the Frinnies that were supposed to be on patrol? Ah, uh, they partied themselves to sleep. Those idiots! I'm gonna smack them and wake them up now! We've got an assassin to track down! Celestia. Makes no difference to me. Angel or God, anyone who opposes me will suffer a terrifying death. <laughs> Say your prayers. Please don't push yourselves too hard. You guys can run if it gets dangerous. Don't let her escape. We'll teach her a lesson. How persistent. Are all demons like this? I have no other choice. I have to use a sleep spell. Nighty night. Oh, no, you don't. Briar Fire Frog Risk. Flames, burn that girl to the ground. Fairy Barrier Balladare. Mirror, reflect. Prince. Ah, my hair! Now you've done it! I had my hair just how I wanted it! This is unforgivable! Feel the wrath of the hall! You can't escape! I'm proud to say that I am the most persistent demon in all the netherworld! Is that so? Wow! That's really something. Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, I think that's the way she is. <laughs> now it's my turn to show off a little. But I'll have to use the item the Seraph gave me, so I can only do it once. Are you ready? Here I go! Prince, I think we're playing by her rules. Like this? We 
don't have much choice, do we? Wow! You defeated my dragon! <laughs> You've caused a lot of trouble for me. I don't know who hired you, but I'll make you regret the day you tried to assassinate the Great Laharl. Uh, excuse me, but why would I want to assassinate you? Huh? I am Angel Trainee Flan. I am here by order of the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord, King Krichevskoy. You're here to kill my old man? Your old man? That means you're the king's son? Doesn't anyone in Celestia read the newspaper? You came all the way from Celestia for nothing. My old man died two years ago. <sighs> I'm sorry. H hey, why are you crying? Your father passed away, right? You'll never see him again. When I think about that, it makes me sad. Huh? Are you crazy? You came here to assassinate him, right? Why should you be sad? Are you not sad? Me? I don't have that emotion. That's not true. When you lose someone or something important to you, you cry, don't you? Your heart aches, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't understand a word you're saying. How come? How come? Because I'm a demon, of course. Demons don't know sadness? E exactly! I've never experienced such an emotion in my entire life. If that's true, then does that mean demons don't know love either? Sadness is only possible because of love. You're right. Demons have no love either. That's... That's just too sad. She sounds just like my mother. How stupid. Love. What good is it? What's the point in having it? Love is the reason mother is dead. I don't believe. I'll never believe in love. If demons really don't know love, then it's my duty as a Celestian to explore the matter. I was ordered to assassinate the Overlord. This must be a sign from the heavens. It has to be. Whether demons are pure evil or not, if they really don't feel love, I will bear witness to the truth. What's love good for? I don't need it. Demons like me don't need that kind of crap. If that is true, then demons are a real threat to Celestia. Since I can't complete my mission, I have decided that my new goal is to learn the true nature of demons. I must know for certain whether or not demons are capable of love. And if necessary, I will carry out my original mission with a new target. <laughs> All right, be my guest. I shall burn a true vision of horror into that empty head of yours. you doing recruiting an assassin? And an angel at that? But this might avert his attention from me. <laughs> Perfect timing. Episode 3, Etna versus Space Monster Flan. 
I'll protect the netherworld at any cost! I want to be a space detective, too! Too bad. Salary? Yep. Today is the Pretty Spots payday. I get that part. Now explain to me why I have to pay your vassal's salary. My vassals are your vassals, right? But then it's only natural that you sign their paychecks. Ugh, I can't argue with that. Fine, but it's not coming out of my pocket. Huh? I thought you had plenty of money. That's my allowance. No one's touching it. Stingy. Shut up! So who's the richest guy around here? We'll just loot his place. Is he always like this? Yep, always. I've never met anybody like that in Celestia. I'd be amazed if you did. But you won't last long in the netherworld if something like this surprises you. Ooh, this is such a culture shock to me. Episode 3, A Hint of Kindness. Too. 
<laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in another world. If you want what is now mine, you'll have to take it by force. That's exactly what I had in mind. Enough talk! Let's go! Fighting over money and power. Were the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then... <laughs> you lose! I'm taking everything as promised! You, you can't! I won't be able to survive without my money! Well then, I'll just finish you off now! <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life, too! I can't let this happen! If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands! Wait, you bully! Who are you? Hogmiser's son? Let go! I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid! Hey, kid! Why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? You wanna die? Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love! Here we go again. Love, love, love. Is that all you've got in your puny little head, you damn love freak? You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharl, my son. Hmm? What do you think of me? Do you love me? No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon? Which is fine for now, but one day... <clears throat> now she's got me thinking about my old man! My old man, huh? What was he trying to tell me that time? This is stupid. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. Forget it! I've wasted enough of my time! Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. All right, start taking the good stuff! But make sure you leave some behind for them. Lahara. Hmm. Mr. Lamington, I finally understand those words you spoke to me. Master Lamington? What is it, Flan? The angels told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> Listen carefully, Flan. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels, and in fact most demons, just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day... Master Lamington, I will accompany Laharo for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn. And those aren't his only shortcomings. But I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. It may be small right now, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So Master Lamington, please forgive my digression. Easy to me, dude. 
this week's dish, Cajun Style Gumbo. And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad! Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears! Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna Episode 4! Etna 120%! Pitch of murderous intent. Yeah, hopeless, dude. Our little flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demons. Hm. She probably used her feminine charm. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? That's it! That has to be it! There's no other explanation! Ugh. I won't allow it! My plan shall not be interfered with! Still, this demon den is so filthy, it reeks of evil. Hmm? What is this book? Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> What kind of book is this? My God! This page! This page! All these pages! Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. Flan, where are you? Hmm? Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. <laughs> Flan, I'm taking your ending. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. Ah. Episode 4 Gift from an Angel. A pendant? Yes. It was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No. If it were you. You would steal it impartially, right? Hmm. S so you do get it. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to... help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? No. But... What's wrong, Flan? You look tired. Y yes The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Of course! Uh, Harold? Wh what? It's the truth, isn't it? Harold, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something good, you say? Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. You would use violence on weak little me? Give it up already! I'm a demon! It doesn't matter who you are, even if you are old, maimed, or diseased! Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me! Are you trying to provoke me? Hm, fine. I've got some time to kill. Laharl? But, let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. Thank you, Laharl. You're an angel.
Angel, you shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want, when I want. Remember that. Huh. home. Why is it so hot? Now I'm all sweaty. Prince, in this heat, Flan's gonna shrivel up before we find the pendant. Huh? I'm fine. How come? Well, I'm gonna kill you if you say that angels don't sweat or have to go to the bathroom. The medicine that a printy gave me seems to be helping. Huh? One of them gave you medicine? Printies aren't that nice. You must be hallucinating. No, it's true. I feel much better now. Okay, which one of them was it then? Um... all look the same. B but it's true. Yeah, yeah. The heat must be getting to you after all. I'm telling the truth. Flan is probably breathing her last breath now. She could have lived a long life had she not been so ambitious. <laughs> that fool. No one can stop me now. What? The pendant's shining. Hot! Hot! Too hot! I have no use for this anymore! Oh! Oh, that hurt! Who threw this? That was dangerous! Hmm? Oh, this is a beautiful pendant! It must be a gift from the heavens, a reward for my good behavior! I thank you, oh god! Moron! What demon thanks a god? Huh? Who just called moi a moron? Oh, what a lucky day indeed! To be able to confront my rival once again! But wait a second! Since when did I become your rival? Hey! It's Midboss! You're still pestering us? We beat you already, remember? You should never assume that I am dead! Besides, my name is the Dark Adonis! <gasps> my pendant! Hmm? What a lovely mademoiselle! You recognize this pendant? Please, Mr. Midboss! May I have the pendant? It's mine! <laughs> With all due respect, I prefer to be called the Dark Adonis. I need it! I beg of you! 
I... I cannot do that, even at the request of someone so lovely. I found this pendant. Therefore, it belongs to moi. Man, he's as low as the prince. Shut up! Don't put me on the same level as him! Oh my! The pendant will punish those with a wicked heart! If you don't let go soon, you'll... Huh? What's the deal here? Isn't he supposed to be punished? Y yes he should be. That's strange. Is it broken? <laughs> Unfortunate, is it not? The heavens would never punish such a pure heart as mine. And to match such a beautiful heart, I was graced with the name Dark Adonis. Enough! I told you, you're mid-boss! <laughs> Say what you wish! But do not foolishly think that I am an ordinary mid-boss. Hey! You just admitted that you're a mid-boss! Quiet! I shall crush you so that I never hear the name mid-boss again! Since last I lost to you, I mastered an incomparable technique. I have trained arduously for this moment. Now, prepare for your inevitable defeat! I shall show mercy on you for the sake of the lovely mademoiselle. But let moi tell you this. My name is the Dark Adonis. Such a pitiful face. Hmm, isn't this what you're looking for? Laharl! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. Why? Why what? Why did you do all that for the pendant? There's only one reason. Huh? To get that reward from you. <laughs> what, what's so funny? Thank you, Laharo. Stop it already! I told you not to talk like that! It's giving me the chills! Just give me my reward! Uh, do I have to spell it out? The reward! Give me the something good you promised me! Oh, that! I already gave it to you. What? Put your hand to your heart. Can you feel it? The warmth inside your heart? You faced great danger to find this pendant. You pretend to be only evil, but there is definitely kindness in your heart. To give you the opportunity to realize that kindness, that is my reward for you. Uh, are you insane? How can you say something so crazy? Kindness is love. The day is near when you will awaken to love. <laughs> Unbelievable! I've been tricked by an angel! Damn it! I'll remember this! Deceiving the prince, huh? Not bad at all. Really? You look happy. Yes, I am. I now know that there is love within Laharl's heart. And if there is love inside him, that means there is love in all demons. One day, angels and demons could be friends. I couldn't be happier. Boy, that theory is a bit out there. You really are a love freak. You're bound to be disappointed if you keep expecting things to turn out so cheery. Most demons would choke you from behind without a second thought. Hmm. Are you like that, Etna? Me? 
maybe. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Damn that flan! She managed to survive. Hmm. She may be a tougher adversary than I first thought. It seems that she is, in fact, manipulating those demons to do her bidding. I must return to Celestia and devise a new plan. Oh, consider yourself lucky this time. But I, Volcanus, shall emerge victorious in the end! That? Don't forget it, even if I don't make an appearance for a while. Promise me! Introducing the Netherworld Baseball League's most notorious losers, the Rotten Peaches! In their first game of the season, they'll face last year's champs, the Dark Durians! Their names are quite unique. One by one, the Rotten Peaches are losing their confidence at the hands of the Dark Durian Nine! Let us all play fair now. Out of the shadows of the dugout, a mysterious pinch hitter appears, awakening the Peach's true baseball spirit. And the soul burns brightly! You shouldn't play with fire. Next, on Mighty Slugger Etna, Episode 5, the miracle full face hat trick kick off into tomorrow! Huh? Is this not baseball? and kicked him right there. There? Where is there? You know. <laughs> oh, my! So what happened after that? Well, of course. Hmm? What is that? A photo? Someone must have dropped it. What are you two laughing about? I can hear you from across the castle. But, but, but Prince, look at this! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's just a picture of what's so... <gasps> I didn't know you were into that kind of thing. I'm a bit shocked. Say that! But who the hell took it? How should I know? By the way, something's written on the back. What? Dear Prince Laharl, an embarrassing photo of you is in my possession. I await your arrival in Jotunheim. If you choose to decline my challenge, copies of the photo will be scattered throughout the netherworld! It is my wish to contend for overlordship in a fair, agreeable manner. Damn it! Fair, agreeable manner? This is playing dirty. But isn't that the demon way? True, but this crosses the line. So, are you going or not? It's definitely a trap. Of course I'm going! If this picture is spread throughout the netherworld, I'll be ruined! Whoever you are, you just wait. I'll char you and your paparazzi shots in the eternal flames of hell! Episode 5, Etna's Secret. Who 
these guys. I was looking forward to seeing what terrifying trap awaited me, but instead I find these puny little demons. What? You got something to say? A wonderful life. <gasps> World peace! <laughs> Let's all be friends. Stop that! Girls, take initiative! Laharo? Ah! What's wrong? Oh, him? Oh, he hates it when people are optimistic. Hmm. Is that so? Let's see. Eternal love. Ah! The most dreaded word in existence! You, you, you trying to kill me? But that's my favorite word. Damn it! How did they know my weakness? <laughs> what a cute little boy! Ah! Laharo! Why are you screaming? I, I don't know why, but for some apparent reason I can't stand women with sexy bodies! On a side note, flat-chested girls like you have absolutely no effect on me. Well, excuse us for being flat! <laughs> you It has been a while, Prince. Do you still remember me? How could I forget you? You're Medeiros, the vessel who was banished from the castle for stealing my old man's favorite snack, black pretzels. <sighs> now that's what I call pathetic. So, Black Pretzel Snatcher slash Outcast, what is it that you want from me now? I wish to become Overlord, of course. <laughs> what a joke! What could you, a pathetic loser banished for stealing pretzels, possibly do to me? Stop talking so tough, Prince. I know all of your weaknesses. Isn't that right, Edna? Edna, you? <laughs> you just realized it. Fool! Yes, Etna is my loyal dog. As long as I hold her memory in my hands, she'll do whatever I ask. Etna? Now, dear Prince, this place shall become your grave. Edna, you've served your purpose. I am quite pleased with the results. Now die alongside your prince. But we had a deal! What about my memory? What use are memories to you when you are about to die? <laughs> It all makes sense now. No wonder he knew my weaknesses. You took those photos too, didn't you? Laharo, it was only because that demon stole her memory. Silence! I accept no excuses from a traitor! Stop blabbering and get these sexy women out of my sight! You don't know when to give up, do you, Prince? But your luck ends here. 
Hi there, little boy. That's not all. Take this! Oh, Ray. Oh. A pure heart. Stop it! <laughs> Can you withstand an attack against both of your vulnerabilities? Hold it right there! When a lovely flower sheds a tear, I am there to wipe its sadness away. My flower shall bloom bearing love. They call me the Dark Adonis. Who are you? What is your name? As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. I don't care who you are. Interfere, and you shall regret it. My... You are the one who asked moi for my name. In any case, I am not here to see you. Now then, how is everyone doing? You seem to be having some difficulty. What are you here for? Oh, how can you be so discourteous to moi? You seem to be working your way into quite the predicament. As your rival, I felt it was my obligation to warn you. Warn me? Laharl, do not be fooled by appearances. Relying on sight and sound will only lead to delusion. Open your mind's eye. Once you do, you will no longer be deceived by mere facades. My mind's eye? Now is the time to set your mind free. Awaken to your power! Um, Mr. Midboss? That was a wonderful speech and all, but I think you may have set the bar a bit too high for Laharl. Oh, in that case, just close your eyes and plug your ears. <laughs> now I have no weaknesses. The tides have turned, Madeiras. Hmm. Etna, what are you waiting for? Kill Laharl! If you refuse, I'll erase your memory for good. Why don't you? What? Two years ago, when the king died, I followed your orders and poisoned the prince so that you would give me back my memories. What? You tried to poison me? Then that long nap was all because of... Your ears are plugged, yet you still managed to hear that one line? That's right. It was because of the poison, but... I hated myself for working under Medeiros. I didn't want to go on living like that. So, I devised a plan to escape from under his thumb. Then, why have you been following my orders until now? <laughs> you mean it's not clear to you? Let me explain it then. I was waiting for just the right moment to get my revenge on the bastard who ruined my life. From now on, I'll leave my life any way I choose. And no one's gonna stop me. How dare you turn against me, you double-crossing backstabber! Ah, the whining of a sore loser. It's music to my ears. Damn it! Brinnies, make mincemeat out of her! Yeah. You don't get it, do you? I just told you that I've been waiting for this moment. I bought out the prinnies you hired to watch over me a long time ago. Comprende? You're just a stupid fool who fell for my trap. And the prince was my bait. Huh. Using me as bait? You're one ruthless girl. Oh, Prince, don't flatter me so much. It's not like Flan or Midboss were part of the plan. Hmm, women are scary. <laughs> From this day on, you're gonna pee in your pants every time you hear my name. You ready? <laughs> For forgive me. Please spare my life. I beg you. What should I do? 
forgive me, oh Master Etna. Your strength, beauty, and intelligence are unsurpassed in all the Netherworld. Well, killing a loser like you would only dirty my hands, so I'll forgive you. You know what I want, right? Y yes! I will return Masala Harald's candid photos immediately, as well as your memory. I'll return everything. Ooh, well, that settles that, doesn't it, Prince? No, it doesn't. You tried to poison me in my sleep. You used me as bait for your revenge. What kind of vassal are you? But But I don't mind that side of you. A true demon is always full of ambition and aims for the top. As king, I'll need a right-hand demon like you under my command. Prince. Listen up. I'm going to work you into the ground. You better be prepared for it. Uh-uh. You better be prepared. I'll be watching your every move. If you don't prove yourself worthy of the throne, an accident may happen. Hmm. You can take my place if that happens. <laughs> don't worry. I will. That's strange. Laharl and Etna reconciled, despite all that's happened. I don't understand it, but I guess demons have their own way of expressing love. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I have never experienced anything like this before in Celestia. Everyone, are you not forgetting someone? Hi, everybody. I'm Etna. I'm a first grader at Netherworld Elementary. You look and act like a first grader, that's for sure. Um, my dream is to become a witch so I can get a cute boyfriend. Boyfriend? That's dumb. Lovely sexy! Hey, no touching! Boys of the world, be my loyal slaves! Who'd want to touch you? Next on Evolutionary Magical Girl Etna, Episode 6, Curse You Flawed! Get ready to be spellbound! Aren't you embarrassed to say something like that? Not at all! Dear sirs and madams, I hope these dark days find you well. However, I, Laharl, am deeply concerned with the state of the netherworld. I am well aware that unnecessary bloodshed is not your desire. Therefore, I am writing to propose a formal challenge, an event with my father's title at stake, the title of Overlord. The rules are simple. On Curse Day, in the month of the Adder, I shall journey to the heart of evil, carrying with me the official deed. The one who wrests the deed from my hand shall be recognized as the new overlord. In the event that I reach my destination still in possession of the deed, I shall assume the position myself. To those with great ambition, I encourage you to participate. Sincerely, Prince Laharl. What do you think? Excellent penmanship, huh? Y yes but according to the Netherworld calendar, isn't today the designated day? That's right. I've ordered the printies to spread copies of this letter all over the Netherworld. 
The demons aiming to become Overlord are probably lying in ambush right now. Um, Prince, is this offer open to anyone? Are you an idiot? Don't you get it? There's no deed for the position of Overlord. Huh? This is a trap. Look at what's happened recently. I thought that I might as well get rid of anyone still planning to claim the throne. Oh, I see. And when I've defeated them all, I will be the unquestioned overlord! <laughs> Episode 6, Laharl's Challenge. doing here? We thought we might as well give it a shot, dude. What? You're not allowed to pull off a coup d'etat without me. I'm the one who's supposed to kill the prince. Edna, it might not be such a good idea to announce that in front of the person in question. We know a head-on attack is suicide, dude. Hmm. You have a plan, then? That's right, dude. All right. Let's go, dudes. We challenge you to a game of baseball, dude! Playboard! Etna. Yes? Kill him! Certainly. <laughs> Are you Krichevskoy's son? Who are you? Me? I am the overlord of an alternate netherworld. An alternate netherworld? That's right. I tried taking over this world before, but Krichevskoy got in the way. Now that he's dead, I'll claim it for my own. You are just one of the overlords that I will crush on my way to becoming the Supreme Overlord. Puny boy. What you see before you represents only a fraction of my power. Well, that's really hard to tell since I can only see part of you. Yep, you're just too big. Fine. If it's size you're concerned about, I can make adjustments. But even so, a horrible death still awaits you. Feel my wrath. Here I go. Yes, aren't you? 
splitting into ten means that his love is divided ten ways. We cannot possibly lose to someone like that. Ooh, Flan's burning with determination. You like this stuff, don't you? Yes, I love this stuff. Now let's go, everybody! We've been waiting for you, demons! When the darkness of evil draws near, we appear out of nowhere! The three lights of justice save the world with courage and hope! Together, we are... The Prism Rangers! Please, someone normal come out! Cool! Hey, Edna! How about we do our own poses? Are you serious? You better believe it! Um, but I have a question for you guys. A question? Go ahead, shoot! You call yourselves Prism Rangers, but you only have three colors. That's not even enough for a rainbow. Isn't it obvious? We don't have any friends. Being a hero is a lonely existence. You got it? Are you sure there's not another reason why you don't have any friends? You guys are heroes, aren't you? Why would you want to be overlords? We want friends, of course. If we become the overlords, then we'll have tons of friends. And the Prism Rangers will have all the colors of the rainbow. Here we go! Blue! Yellow! Transform! can't be happening. Blue and yellow have been shot. I can't transform on my own. Curse you. Shooting before we even have a chance to transform. How inconsiderate. Are you demons? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about that. Is your helmet on too tight? You should have transformed first, then come out. That's not how it's supposed to be. A true defender of justice transforms in front of the enemy. Juan, which side are you on? Then I'll just have to play my ace card. The demons I hired will help me. Is it okay for a hero to be using demons? Of course. Justice must never lose, no matter what the means. Blue, yellow, your death have awakened a burning passion in my heart. Uh, I avoided hitting any vital spots, so they should still be alive. Evil fiends, are you ready? Face the power of justice! Prince, is this the heart of evil? That's right. No one's here. Which means... Now hold it right there! again what do you want i'm busy right now tsk 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 you weren't thinking of calling yourself the overlord without first settling things with moi were you i already settled things with you twice as a matter of fact silly you did you think that i was serious weren't you not at all that was merely camouflage so that you would let your guard down now, you shall witness my true power! I have attained ultra speed by training and training and training, all while wearing 100-ton boxers! Can your eyes keep up with moi? Here I come! The throne is mine! Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, sudden stomach cramps! Just when I was getting started, I, I beg your pardon, but I need to use the restroom. Consider yourselves lucky you've been spared. Au revoir! He ran away. His excuses are getting more and more pathetic. 
pathetic. Huh? So, is that it? That means... I'm the Overlord! 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 Hmm, the prince is now the Overlord. It's so hard to believe. <laughs> now, now, look at him. He is so happy. He pretends to be evil, but he can be cute sometimes. You think? Well, he's just a kid, that's all. Anyway, shouldn't you be worried? Huh? What do you mean? You helped the prince become the overlord. Uh... Master Lamington! Master Lamington! Are you here? You make a ruckus every time you are here to see me, Volcanus. What is it this time? How can I not make a commotion? Lahar, the son of King Krachevskoy, has been crowned the new overlord! Hmm... That's not all. That trainee Flan helped him win the throne! Is that so? Ugh, this is no longer a case of disobeying orders. This is treason! You are correct. So, what are you planning to do? Hmm... I will need to think about it. Think about it? Think about it, you say? This is a grave matter! We can't just ignore it! I will handle this problem! You have no objections, do you? Oh, dear. What should I do? If the Seraph hears of this, there is no telling what punishment awaits me! I might be dismissed from my angel trainee position! Who cares? Why don't you change jobs now and become a demon? No! Oh, Master Lamington, please guide me!
this kid? Don't call me a kid. You're more of a kid yourself. What? Who the hell do you think I am? Now, now. He is just a child. Shut up, Blackchest. What did you say? You... <gasps> I mustn't. In times like this, love is the answer. With love, there is understanding. Hey, does she have a few screws loose or something? Huh, you got some attitude, kid. Just like you, Prince. Yeah, right. So, what's he got to do with the job? Oh, yeah, his pets are missing. Huh? And? And your job's to look for them. Why would I, the Overlord, look for some stupid little brat's pets? Ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! Bring me something more fitting for my first task as Overlord! I refuse. It may seem ridiculous to you, but it's important to him. This is a perfect way to begin your rule as Overlord. And if you don't do it, I'm never going to accept you as the Overlord. What, what are you getting so mad for? It's not like you! Answer me. Will you do it or not? Ugh. Fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. Good, and you better not slack off. Ugh. Why am I, the overlord of the netherworld, taking orders from this annoying brat? Episode 7 of Being an Overlord. Tired of this. You better stay alert, or else you'll be sorry. Check out that zombie. What about it? <sighs> Amateur, that is my masterpiece. The fists of a dark karate master. 
the legs of the fastest demon in the netherworld, the brain of mahogany, a famous sorcerer, the iron body of Hercules, and a horse wiener! All combined into one, the netherworld's ultimate zombie! What did you say? A horse wiener? Now, that's dangerous! Guys, don't let your guard down! Here, I caught them all! So quit your complaining! What? What's the problem now? Thank you, Your Highness. Huh. Well, it is part of my job as the Overlord. And don't bother to thank me. If you want to show your gratitude, you can repay me with your body. Hmm. I never knew you were like that. <laughs> Idiot. I meant become my vassal and serve me when you're old enough. Yes, Your Highness. Speak to me with respect from now on. Got it? Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> Did you hear that, Etna? That kid called me Your Highness. So, do you accept me as Overlord now? Well, you passed for the time being. But be careful not to flunk out. Ugh, why you? <laughs> Talk about strict. Still, Maharl has changed quite a bit since the first time I met him. He is maturing little by little as he meets new people. And it feels like I have changed too. Since meeting him and his companions, if you open your heart, you will surely grow and learn many new things, whether you're an angel or a demon. If I can explain this to other angels, maybe they'll see that not all demons are evil. And someday, if it wasn't hidden, dude. When the Prinny's evil spirits join as one, they form Pringer X, the mighty super robot. Dude, we can't do that. Here goes. Pringer Spiral Plasma Chop. Gotcha. Pringer Aurora Triangle Kick. This is it. Pringer Spinning Drill Attack. Uh, dude, hello? Next, on Lovely Mad Scientist Edna Episode 8, Farewell, Pringer X! Dude, you're killing us, huh? No worries. Pringer X will be reborn as the more powerful Pringer Z. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen, dude. to stop them. Huh? Just let them be. They were finally able to atone for their sins. The only thing we can do now is pray for their happiness in their next lives. Oh, is this what they mean when they say fly by night? Um, 
Yes? You seem different from other prinnies. Were you the one who gave me medicine when I lost my pendant? W what are you talking about? You even speak differently than the rest of them. W what, what do you mean? Dude, I'm the same as the others. Dude. I understand. You have your reasons, right? Okay, then. I'll just direct this to whoever might be listening. Thank you for your help. Lon? Since you came, the prince has changed. Huh? You really think so? Sure, dude. Thank goodness! They say that I see things the way I want them to be, so I wasn't sure if Laharl has actually changed or not. But it can't be just my imagination if you noticed a difference, too. All right! That means Laharl is definitely awakening to the idea of love! Love is magnificent! <laughs> it surely is! Episode 8, Reincarnation What? Like I said, several prinnies are missing. Why? How should I know? Maybe they ran away because you treated them so badly. Hmm. Come to think of it, 20-hour workdays with no days off was a bit harsh. In conditions like that, it's no wonder that they chose to fly by night. Fly by night? Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, no. Nothing at all. Prince. Hmm? What? Don't worry. They'll be all right, dude. I'm not worried about them. If people hear that I let my vessels escape, I'll lose all respect. That's why we're going to find them, even if it is a big waste of time. That's so mean. You don't have to say it like that. Take it easy, Flan. He's just too embarrassed to admit the truth. Really? Yeah. I think. Hey! Hey, you! Uh, me? Yeah, you. You really don't know anything about the Prinnies? You've been acting weird ever since this morning. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you! What? Prince Laharl, I have a name and it's Flan! It's not Hey or You! You have never called me by my name, not even once, since the first time we met! S so what's it to you? People's feelings are delicate. They can be hurt by just the slightest insult. Laharl, you are too inconsiderate. You should approach people with more love. The Prinnies ran away because you have no love. What? You stupid love freak! Who do you think I... There. That's the attitude I'm talking about. You'll never become a respected overlord with an attitude like that. Flan, that doesn't seem like the kind of advice an angel should be giving. Ugh! What do you know about being an overlord? Forget it! I'm not talking to you anymore! Etna? Hmm? Why is Laharl so stubborn? Huh? You kidding? He's always been like that. I don't think that's entirely true. Haven't you noticed? His emotions are slowly changing. I thought that he'd finally awoken to the power of love. Oh! <laughs> so that's why you were so angry. Yes. That's a demon for you. You seem to have your hopes pretty high. But don't you think that asking for love from a demon is a bit ridiculous? You think so? Well, the prince's case is a bit unique. Unique? Yep. You see, his mother, the queen, was an eccentric person. She was always talking about love and kindness. That 
that's not weird at all. Well, I didn't hate her, but I guess she couldn't help it being a human and all. A human? Yep, she was a witch who came here to study. The king fell in love with her at first sight, and eventually the prince was born. Hmm, is that so? She was always saying things like, demons can love too. Whenever the prince did something bad, she would scold him because she wanted to raise him to be a kind boy. Maybe you remind him of his mother, Flan. If he was raised that way, why is he like this now? The queen died. Huh? A long time ago, the prince was infected with a rare disease that even the king couldn't cure. There was only one way to save him. Which was... The life of one who loved him. Then... That's right. The queen took her own life, despite the king's efforts to stop her. It was at that point that the prince started to hate love and kindness. How sad. So unless his hatred fades, Lahara will have to live the rest of his life without love. Oh, that's just not fair. Maybe so. But I don't think that he's intentionally trying to hate love. Hatred isn't something that just disappears that easily, is it? Maybe you were a bit rough on him today. <gasps> well, don't try to get me involved. What are those? Those are the souls of the Prinnies who've atoned for their sins. You know the legend, don't you? That inside the Prinnies, are the souls of sinful humans. Yes, and they work in Celestia in the Netherworld to atone for those sins. That's right. The Red Moon purifies their sins so they can be reborn. What a heart-wrenching sight! Edna, stop them! Prince, weren't you listening? The Prinnies are being reborn. Shut up! I never gave them permission for that! We'll drag him back here if we have to. Who are you? We'll see about that. Those printies are mine. They're my vassals for all eternity. That's right, dude. You shouldn't interfere with Death's work, dude. It's here to guide the souls of the Prinnies to the Red Moon, dude. If you truly value your vassals, if you have any love for them, then you should wish them good luck, dude. Huh. You sound just like that love freak. It's what's best for their sake? That's right, dude. I see. Then I'll let them go. You understand, dude? Well, yeah. Thank goodness. Then I can leave without worry. Wait! What sin? What sin did you commit? I took my own life. Taking your own life is a grave sin. Why would you? to save my son's life. Because of my death, my son shut away his feelings, but he's changing ever so slowly. It's all thanks to the wonderful people around him. My work here is done. The rest is up to my son. You're just going to leave? Not even a goodbye? Despite how much you love him? What cruel words you speak. <sighs> of course I would like to reveal myself. Of course I would like to hug my son with my own hands. But if we are destined to part again, 
Then wouldn't it be better to watch from afar and leave without a single word? He has suffered enough already. My silence is how I show my love. I'm sorry. I tried to push my idea of love onto you. Without considering your reasons. Without considering your feelings. I'm sorry. <laughs> Prince, you've met a wonderful person. Dude, Prince, take care. Blonde, Etna, take care of him for me. Goodbye. mother who gave up her life to save her son. A son who could only accept his mother's death by denying love and kindness. I can't imagine how painful, how difficult it was for him. But I'm sure the red moon will wash away his sorrow. Love, huh? Huh? Nothing. Let's return to the castle, Flan. Laharl! When Laharl called me by my name for the very first time, I noticed that the red moon no longer shone in his eyes. I'll always remember the sad tale of a mother and her son. A hero emerges to save the Earth from the vile clutches of King Lahal. His name is Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Bonjour! I am your own personal Dark Adonis. With his beautiful sidekick Jennifer and multi-purpose super robot Thursday, Captain Gordon takes the netherworld by storm. Another fantasy of yours, mademoiselle? Who will win this cataclysmic battle? The evil king or the defender of Earth? Pardon moi, but no one is listening. Next on Mobile Girl at Last Stardust Memoir, Episode 9, Invincible Captain Gordon. Soldier's tears illuminate the starry sky. Everybody, just ignore her. Nothing beats having tea in outer space. How beautiful the Earth is. It reflects the nobility of my mission. Jennifer, how much longer before we go into hyperdrive? Let me see, Gordon. About oh, five minutes? I see. Only five minutes until we say goodbye to the Earth. Are you scared, Gordon? Hey, hey, you're joking, right? 
Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, is afraid of nothing. You, of all people, should know that. You've been along on all my adventures. Oh, right. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Oh, sorry about that. Of course I didn't forget you, Thursday. Gordon keeps staring at Jennifer's thighs. Pervert, pervert, pervert. Hey, why you? Tea time's over, Gordon. Ooh, we have an incoming transmission. Looks like it's from the Earth Defense Force headquarters. I'm turning on the holographic projector. Hi. You look good, General Carter. So, what can I do for you, Commander-in-Chief? You're moments away from entering hyperdrive. This will be your last contact with Earth. Do you have any messages, Gordon? Let me think. Tell everyone on Earth to have a grand parade ready for my return. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the hot babes and pizza shacks teriyaki pizza. We'll see what we can do. I'm sure you don't need me to repeat this, but the Earth's fate is in your hands. We're counting on you. It's nothing I can't handle. How true. I pray for your success, Gordon. Gordon, we're about to go into hyperdrive. Okay, Jennifer. Hyperdrive engine number three ready. All systems go. Now entering hyperdrive. Engage! Engage! <laughs> Episode 9 Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Friends, there's some kind of anomaly in the stellar graveyard. Invaders from another world? I have no idea, dude. Invaders? Are they angels who are here to take me back? I doubt it. That place attracts a lot of weird things besides stars. Flying saucers, probes, brain suckers, midgets with glowing fingertips. Oh my! That means there may be people who are hurt! Let's go, Laharo! Forget it. It's probably just a piece of trash. Laharo! Geez, shouldn't an overlord be doing something more important than this? Gordon? Gordon, where are you? Oh, this isn't good. Where could he be? Spaceship crashed. Gordon failed to escape. Probably smashed into atoms. Rest in peace. Don't worry, Thursday. He's Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Understood, Jennifer. Activating life scanner. Thank you, Thursday. Always listen to a hot babe. That's the law. Beep, blip, beep. This is the Stellar Graveyard. Oh, how beautiful. But it looks like the stars are crying. Flan, you're so romantic. I just want to choke you to death. <laughs> Anna, you are choking me. I, I, I can't breathe. Hey, enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Saved by the bell, Flan. <gasps> I hope she was just joking. I almost became one with the stars. Sense any signs of life, Thursday? Unfortunately, no trace of Gordon's biological signature. I see. We have to find him. I heard at headquarters that the netherworld is full of nasty, vicious creatures. If we're discovered... Ugh. I'll be molested by countless slimy tentacles and my bodily fluids will be sucked dry. Or we could be swallowed whole and suffer a slow and painful death as we're digested alive. Or even worse... Jennifer, please keep your imagination under control. Life signs detected. Readings do not correspond with Captain Gordon's biological signature. Life forms are approaching. Oh, Run! 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 Shh! Thursday, be quiet. That 
That's odd. I thought I heard a voice of a woman. What? Human children in the netherworld? A human? And on top of that, she's... I got it. You were kidnapped by the Overlord, weren't you? Oh, the humanity! I heard that demons are merciless, even towards children. Oh, you poor things. They didn't bite your arms off, did they? They didn't suck your brains out, did they? They didn't anal probe you, did they? What the hell does she think demons are? But don't you worry. Big Sis will make it all better. And no! Get away from me! What? Keep your sexy body away from me! Oh, I understand. You're going through puberty, aren't you? Oh, don't be embarrassed, cute little boy. Everyone goes through that period. Okay, I'll teach you everything there is to know. You see, as young girls mature, their breasts grow bigger, and boys... Great! Now she's teaching sex ed! Who the hell is this lady? Um, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we're not human children. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I am Flan, an angel in training. This is Edna, a demon. And the one you call cute little boy is the Overlord. Laharl! This is outrageous! I can't believe such a cute little boy could be the Overlord. Well, this is completely different from the information provided by Headquarters. What's going on, Thursday? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. What's the answer? Headquarters is a bunch of liars. Oh no! Does that mean that the Overlord planning to invade Earth is a lie too? We came here to slay the Overlord for heaven's sake. There must be some misunderstanding. Wait, did I hear you say you came here to slay the Overlord? Uh, no, 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 no. Not me. That's the responsibility of our hero, Captain Gordon, the defender of Earth. I'm his assistant, Jennifer. And this is Thursday, the multi-purpose super robot. Beep, 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 beep. Nice to meet you. Hero, you say? Yes, Captain Gordon is the Earth's hero. His noble mission is to vanquish any evil that threatens the Earth. But we were separated from him when our spaceship crashed. <laughs> Very interesting. I must definitely meet this Captain Gordon. Why is that? It is an overlord's duty to challenge heroes. Wow, cool. Woman, follow me. I shall find your hero. Really? But I don't want that sexy body of yours within a three-foot radius of me. Oh, as you wish. Okay, let's go look for Gordon. Oh, 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 ouch! What a landing! I guess Lady Luck is taking a vacation. That's right, Jennifer, Thursday. Hmm, it appears that we've been separated. They haven't been captured by the Overlord, have they? Even with Thursday's 200,000 horsepower engine, he can't take on the Overlord alone. I can't just sit here. I've got to save them. Jennifer, hang in there. Hey, Harley. I am Laharl, not Harley. You really don't have plans to invade the Earth? Earth is that rotten planet where humans foolishly pollute their own environment, correct? Why would I be interested in that? You may be right, but the Earth is still our home. That's why Gordon and I risk our lives to protect it. I always believed that was the right thing to do. I don't know what to believe in now. It doesn't seem like you're lying, Harley, but I don't want to think that my fellow Earthlings are lying to me either. What makes you think I'm not lying? I am a demon. I can tell by looking into your eyes. 
I believe you because your eyes are pure. I don't know if it's pure good or pure evil, though. <laughs> huh, nonsense! That man's eyes, are they pure right now? Well, either way, we have to find Gordon and uncover the truth, or else something terrible might happen. I agree. At this rate, a war might erupt between the Netherworld and the human world. We must prevent that. Huh? Why? It'd be fun. Etna. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> What's with you serious types? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Life signs detected. Analyzing. It is Captain Gordon. Gordon's nearby? Gordon! Gordon! Where are you? <laughs> A familiar voice! Is that you, Jennifer? You must have been through hell! But have no fear, Captain Gordon is here! That's the hero? He's so cool! Juan? You got a wide strike zone. Gordon! Are you all right, Jennifer? Hmm? Who are these children? How dare you call me a child! I am the Overlord! You? The Overlord? <laughs> Quit joking around. You haven't even gone through puberty! Hey, no fair! A cowardly trick, Overlord! It's about time you came to your senses! I, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, shall put an end to your evil ambition of invading Earth! Please wait! Shut up, villainous! Villainous? Lahar, this rude stranger isn't a hero, nor is he defender of anything! Let's kick his sorry butt! Well, that didn't take long. We're in agreement this time, Flan. Listen, Defender of Earth. If you can defeat me, I promise not to invade your planet. But if I win, then you agree to stay here in the Netherworld and become my vassal. How about it? Fine. A hero never backs down from a fight. Gordon, listen. No need to worry, Jennifer. I eat guys like him for breakfast. Thursday and I can handle this by ourselves. All you have to do is believe in Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, like always. Ah! <laughs> it's a deal, then. Here I come, defender of Earth. Come on, Overlord. I'll protect the Earth at any price. Thursday, back me up! Me, me, lift, me, mission acknowledged. Ah! <laughs> How do you like that, hero? Taste the power of the Overlord! You've learned an important lesson today. Heroes don't always win! Inadvertently, my butt. Flan, lately you've been acting more and more like us demons, huh? N no, I haven't. But if the Seraph finds out. Seraph! Seraph Lamington! Are you here? This is a serious matter. It is always a serious matter when you come here. But is it this time? Flan has killed a human in the Netherworld! What? Flan killed a human? That's right! Even if she is a trainee, an angel harming a human is a grave sin. Is this forgivable? No! Such a sin cannot be forgiven! But still, that is odd. Why would a human be in the Netherworld? Well, well uh, a 
At any rate, I will make sure that Flan is captured. I'll be using some of the troops. I have your permission, correct? Very well. I shall leave it to you, Volcanus. Yes, sir! Hmm. I never expected humans to interfere. Now then, how will he respond to this? Everything will be fine. The Seraph will understand that it was just a mistake. He surely will. You better hope so. This is your hero, Captain Gordon. It won't be easy for Gordon. As all of you know, I am the 37th Defender of Earth. As the name suggests, it is my duty to defend the Earth. What lies ahead of... No matter what lies ahead, I swear on my honor and the name Defender of Earth that evildoers shall not escape. That is my mission. Next on Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans. Look forward to my adventures. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha, my ass! Gordon, wash my shorts! Gordon, after that, Clean my room! Gordon, after that, make dinner! <sighs> what humiliation! The defender of Earth working for the Overlord! I can't apologize enough to my predecessors! Hmm. You look unhappy! Don't tell me that a hero would break his promise now! Oh. A hero never breaks a promise. All I can do right now is endure this. As long as my faith does not falter, hope remains. I've got it. I'll just pretend to obey him. And when he lets his guard down, I'll escape back to Earth. All right. I just need to have patience. Good thinking, Gordon. Your eyes are full of hope. You're planning something, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not. I was just... Morning, Harley. I told you not to call me that! Why not? It's cuter that way. Etna and Flan are going to show me around the netherworld, and we're going to have a picnic. Why don't you come along, Harley? We made a great lunch. Picnic? You must be joking, Jennifer. I, the Defender of Earth, am working, and you, my assistant, are picnicking? But Gordon, today's Sunday. It's a day off for everybody. Well, that's true, but... Thursday, you'll stay here and work with me, right? Robots require rest, too. Thursday, we'll attend picnic with Jennifer. La, la, la. Hey, you traitor! There you have it, Gordon. We'll leave the chores to you. So, where should we go? It's your first time in the Netherworld. So how about the Sea of Gehenna? Why? It's so hot over there. What kind of a place is it? It's a big tourist spot. Since you're new to the Netherworld, you have to go check it out. Is there a souvenir shop around? It's not exactly the kind of place that sells souvenirs. If it's souvenirs you're looking for, try Sphinxes on Sacrifice Street. They've got nice mummy heads. See? Oh, how adorable! Hey, that's 
the Nether Year 666 Limited Edition model. I want one. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, today it's a picnic at the Sea of Gehenna, and tomorrow it's shopping on Sacrifice Street. Sounds like a plan. I'm in. Now I just plain pity you, Gordon. All right, we're going to the Sea of Gehenna. I will never, ever allow those women to go picnicking on their own. That's a great idea. We should do it. It's not like we'd be going on a picnic going la la la. Someone has to protect them. Right, let's go. <laughs> Here's my chance. I'll sneak off and escape during the picnic. Episode 10, Angels, Demons, and Humans. It's past the scheduled time and still no word from Gordon. Apparently, even the Defender of Earth was no match for the Overlord. He's not the real Defender of Earth. If you had just left it to me, I would have been done ages ago. Are you still carrying on about that? You need to be more insightful, Curtis. It doesn't really matter to me whether he wins or loses. His mission ended as soon as he opened up a route to the Netherworld. Slaying the Overlord was just a pretext. Hmm. They're nothing but pawns to you, huh? What an ugly way of saying it, Curtis. I prefer to call them the heroes who sacrifice their lives for the Earth. <laughs> Gordon wouldn't die so easily. Only I, Curtis, can defeat him. I bet he beat the Overlord already and is enjoying a picnic right now going la la la. La la la. Ha 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 ha. I never thought that picnicking in the netherworld would be so delightful. Is this guy really a hero? I'm not really one to say, but I always thought a hero was a bit more dignified. This guy's just a fool. No, a true hero hides his real identity from the world, pretending to be quiet and weak. Then, when someone needs to be saved, he appears admirably to uphold justice. That's right, isn't it? Well, I... I guess... La la la! You sure? He looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. La la la! Alright, they're falling for my plan. Now, all I have to do is just play along until I can make a run for it. What's wrong, Master? You're not having fun? I thought kids loved picnics. The sky is blue, the weather is perfect. Come on, let's sing. I'm not a kid. I'm 1,313 years old. And mentally, I'm much more mature than you two. Mature? I think you two are about the same. For your information, I'm 1,470. I'm, um... Barely young. Young? How old is young? Young is... Young! You're an angel, aren't you? Tell the truth. 1,509? What? You're older than me? <laughs> you old hag! I'm not old. That's amazing. No one would think you're that old. Hmm. That's why humans act so foolishly. They judge solely on looks. Ooh, you talk big. Then you shouldn't mind my body, right? Uh, well, um... I'm getting hungry. Let's see. Changing the subject, huh? I'll let it slide this time. Here's the picnic basket! 
On guard! Ah, the picnic basket! It has been a while, mademoiselle. The sweet smell of these entrees has led moi all the way here. Hey, mid-boss! Give us back our food! No, 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 no. I cannot oblige. For moi, a widower, this handmade lunch is like an oasis in a desert. I cannot give it back. You return after all this time and for a stupid reason like this? Mr. Midboss, you don't have anyone to make lunch for you? Poor thing. Stop pitying moi. That sends a sharp pain to my heart. Hold it right there. Midboss, was it? That picnic basket is mine. Give it back now. Hmm, you are human, are you not? That's right. They call me Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. And why is the Defender of Earth picnicking with demons? Sh shut up! I'm not here because I want to be. Very well, I shall test your resolve, O oh Defender of Earth. Now, can you retrieve this basket from moi? Ah! <laughs> hey, you! Wait! My, my, what a gluttonous bunch you are, following moi all this way. Look who's talking! Give it up. I swear by the name Defender of Earth that I'll get that basket back. <laughs> you are going to get hurt if you think that I am your average picnic basket thief. Very well, I shall demonstrate for you humans the elegant techniques of the Dark Adonis! Whoa! So bright! Shoot, at this rate, we'll lose! Gordon! Jennifer, Thursday, let's give it a go! To protect the Earth from evil! There is no rest for the champions of justice. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, here to save the day! This isn't good. Maharo, Etna, they're stealing the show! Well, I don't really care. You should. We're joining in. What? You serious, Flan? I'm no longer ordinary, Flan. I'm Guardian Flan! All right, here we go! As long as evil exists in the world, this elegant angel will soar the skies. The people's cheers bring me courage. Warrior of love, Guardian Flan! Why do I have to be part of this? Hmm. 
I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. <laughs> Your teamwork is terrible compared to the defenders of Earth. Jeez. We're being laughed at because of you two. <laughs> She's pissed, Prince. I give up. Do what you want. Lose again. Now give back the picnic basket. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I have already consumed the contents! You fiend! How dare you! That means this duel is a draw! We shall meet again! My compliments to the chef! <gasps> Our lunch! Oh, it's okay. We can always make it again. Jennifer's right. Lunches are expendable! Which reminds me. I haven't had Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza in a long time. Now then, since this is all over, we'll be heading back to Earth. There's no need to shed any tears. So long, people of the netherworld. You go, Gordon. Take it nice and easy. No one, not even a demon, can deny a man his Pizza Shack teriyaki pizza. Now, if I can just return to Earth and act like nothing ever happened, less about you leaving, but how do you plan on getting out of here? Huh? No! Now that you mention it, our spaceship is in pieces. We have no way of getting home. Gordon, you just realized that? Jeez Louise. Oh, my perfect plan. Oh. Will we ever be able to return to Earth? Who will defend the planet now? Will my duty as defender of Earth go unfulfilled? Oh yes, I have an idea, Mr. Gordon. Why don't you change from defender of Earth to defender of the Netherworld? What? I... I could never do that. Oh, come on, Gordon. The Earth isn't the only world. Our duty is to safeguard peace, whether it be on Earth or in the Netherworld. Hmm, but that title doesn't sound right. Fine, I'll give you a good title. In the name of King Laharl, I knight the Slayer of the Netherworld. Hey, wait, that's not any better. I promoted you from being a vassal. Quit complaining. Does that mean we can stay here, Harley? Your unusual abilities. They'll come in handy as I take control of the Netherworld. Oh, I'll try to tolerate that sexy body of yours. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear the word tolerate come from his mouth. Well, that's as close to acceptance as he gets, right? Of course, it could just be that he started liking sexy bodies. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. All's well that ends well. It's not well. This is a dream. It must be a dream. Somebody tell me it's a dream! And that's how these people were welcomed into King Laharl's court. I know I helped the demons get the humans on their side. These days, I'm not so concerned about that kind of stuff. I hope one day all angels, demons, and humans can live happily together just as we do. The end.
With the EDF Armada steadily advancing, it's up to me to protect the Netherworld! <laughs> what can a little girl do? Mega Curse Cannon! Anything in the air is toast! Hmm. Not bad. Plasma Magic Circle! Nothing can get past this baby! Ugh! Impossible! And the ultimate weapon! Love Freak Lawn! With her idealistic notion of peace and love, she'll annoy you into submission! Ugh, how dreadful! Next on Legend of the Netherworld Heroine Episode 11, Etna vs. EDF. Another page in the Netherworld's history. We can't just sit here. All forces, move out! Finally, the time has come. If we don't secure the Netherworld in this battle, the Earth won't last another 100 years. Capturing the Netherworld, that's our only means of survival. Uh, that is correct. Your, is there something you want? No, I just came to make sure that you weren't backing out of this. We're preparing to launch the attack. Our fleet of space carriers was constructed using the most advanced technology. Your information is correct. There's no way we can lose. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm counting on it. That angel, what does he hope to gain giving us information about the Netherworld? No, now is not the time for second guessing. The Earth is breathing its last breath. All ships, prepare for takeoff. Earth Defense Force, move out! Heroes will, Overlords way. Not good. Not good. Not good. This is not good at all. I must find a way to return to Earth. At this rate, I'll have no choice but to accept the job as Slayer of the Netherworld. Hmm. Is there any way? Oh, yeah! The EDF! When I don't return according to schedule, they'll surely come to rescue me! All right! Hooray of hope! Hey, was that supposed to be you talking to yourself? I could hear every word you said! Gordon, do you really think the EDF will come to rescue us? Of course I do! I have faith in them! Prince! Prince! What? Something wrong? You've received a challenge. What? From who? Get ready for this. It's from the Defender of Earth. What did you say? That's strange. I don't remember writing a challenge. What's it say? An overlord again? That's right. I'll pound him into submission and make him my vassal. Rejoice, Gordon! It looks like you'll be meeting a new friend! Ha
Overlord, prepare yourself. Curtis? Take this! Look out, Captain! Thursday! You're not Curtis. Who are you? Are you aware of who you're dealing with? I am Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Wait, Gordon! What? The Defender of Earth? What would the Defender of Earth be doing here in the company of the Overlord? Oh, well, it's a complex situation. He's my vassal! He lost to me in battle, so I made him my slave. His new name is Slayer of the Netherworld. What was that? The Defender of Earth is now the Overlord's vassal? S sir How shameful! How disgraceful! The Defender of Earth has sunk so low. Hey, you haven't heard the whole story. Besides, you haven't even introduced yourself yet. Me? I'm Don Joaquin, the original Defender of Earth. The original Defender of Earth? That old man sounds fishy to me. No, it may be true. My father used to tell me about him. Hundreds of years ago, the first Defender of Earth left for the Netherworld to vanquish the Overlord and never returned. But how is he still alive? Compared to the typical human lifespan, he should have passed away a long time ago. That's probably his soul. He probably couldn't rest in peace until he defeated the Overlord, so his soul remained behind. Why? There's only one thing. It's his duty as a hero. He's starting to sound like you, Prince. I'm so touched. The idea of him still struggling to fulfill his duty, transcending time, a true defender of Earth. I'm proud to follow in his footsteps. But I don't think an old man like that could defeat the Prince even in a thousand years. Yeah. I see your point. We have to help him. We can't just leave him like this. Hey, Love Freak, you're not trying to force your beliefs on me again, are you? Bingo! Next time we run into him, let's lose on purpose. That way, he'll finally be satisfied and his spirit will ascend to heaven. Don't be ridiculous. I have a duty to fulfill, too. I can't lose on purpose. Why? Big deal? Are you that selfish that you can't even save a poor hero's soul? Shut up! This is between me and him, so stay out of it! We're going in after him! Huh? What? What's wrong, Thursday? Oh, no! The shock from that old man's attack has short-circuited him. Can you repair him, Jennifer? Even though I built Thursday when I was five, I can't fix him without the proper equipment. Me, me, bleh. Oh, the damage to the memory circuit is extensive. If Thursday overheats, then his entire memory will be lost. Hmm. That leaves me no choice. Thursday, you're going to have to sit on the sidelines for now. Beep, bleep, beep. Whoa, wait, Thursday can fight. I won't allow it. We can't afford to lose you. Gordon's right. You heard what I said, didn't you? Your memory could be lost. If that happens, you'll forget about Gordon and I and all the wonderful memories that we've shared together. Skip Thursday fight anyway. Thursday. Even though Thursday robot, Gordon and Jennifer call Thursday friend. Thursday, happy. 
Thursday want to show gratitude? Thursday may lose memory if participation is resumed. Lose memory. Very sad. But being useless even more sad. That is why Thursday fight alongside you until very end. Thursday. <laughs> What's wrong? You gotta go? No, he doesn't. He's been touched by Mr. Thursday's heart. Heart? Robots have hearts? What are you saying? Thursday's words are the very heart of a defender of Earth. It doesn't matter if he's human or robot. He has the same spirit burning deep inside of him. Thursday! Yes, Captain Gordon? Your noble spirit has touched my heart. No matter what the outcome, I will be proud to fight beside you. Now join us, Thursday! Me, me. Thank you, Captain. Thursday, so glad to have met you. I've been waiting for you, Overlord. Countless years have passed since I left my home. Earth so far away. Oh, I've dreamt of this day. Now, we shall settle this at last. That we will. King Laharl runs from no one. Come on. Wait, Laharl. You're not going to actually fight him, are you? Why not? He challenged me, didn't he? Laharl, you're... Flan, just let him do things his way. But... My friends, aid me in battle! Hmm? He's not alone? More zombies, huh? What do you think of this? I've made a few friends over the years. Here I come, Overlord! Now is the moment that I fulfill my duty! Very well! On guard, old hero! Laharl! Why? Why didn't you lose? I know that you have a kind heart inside! Why? You're starting to get annoying! I'm a demon! There was never any kindness in my heart. You were wrong about me. Sorry to disappoint you. You've let me down, Laharl. You're the worst. It's okay, little girl. Huh? It's all okay. I'm satisfied now. It may be hard for you to understand, but we heroes live a certain way, and we die a certain way too. I was once known as the Defender of Earth, but I grew old, died, and have since existed as a mere soul. I could no longer live as a hero, nor could I die as one. I just wandered the netherworld. How pathetic I felt. But at long last, I was able to fight again as Defender of Earth. I wasn't able to win, but I have no regrets. In fact, I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. It's all thanks to this kid Overlord, because he fought me with all his might. Now I can finally rest in peace. Thank you. Huh. What kind of hero thanks an overlord? I was just fulfilling my own duty. <laughs> Gordon, Thursdays. Hey, hang in there, Thursday. Gordon, Jennifer. Don't speak, Thursday. You'll waste your energy. It is okay, Jennifer. Did Thursday serve his purpose? Thursday! Yes! Of course, of course you did, Thursday. 
We were only able to overcome the many obstacles we faced in our adventures because of your support. We three together are the di- So don't give up. Thursday! Thank goodness. Thank you for all the mess. Thursday! Thursday! Young Defender of Earth, you have wonderful friends. If I had friends like that, maybe things would have been different. This shall be my final act as Defender of Earth! Thursday! How can this be? His circuit is fixed! Which means... Beep, flip, beep. Good morning, Captain Gordon. Jennifer. Oh! Thursday! Oh, thank goodness! Thank you so much! How can we repay you? No, it was my fault this happened in the first place. I don't need to be thanked. Farewell, young defenders of Earth. Remember that spirit inside you. I salute you, Don Joaquin, the original defender of Earth. Maybe there are some decent humans out there after all. It looks like you're getting the hang of being Overlord, aren't you, Prince? Of course! Who do you think I am? I'm the Great King Laharl! Um, Laharl... Sorry that I jumped to conclusions and said such horrible things! That's right! You said I'm the worst, didn't you? What were you gonna say next? The worst what? Uh, well... I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. Me, too? What kind of filthy language was about to escape those love-preaching lips? Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Now calculating. Now calculating. Calculation complete. The answer is... No! Oh, she destroyed the evidence! Oh, Thursday! Oh my god! Are you okay, Thursday? Wicked little angel. Yep, worse than a demon. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Episode 11, Heroes Will, Overlord's Way, The End. Etna and Jennifer's Netherworld Telephone Shopping! Today's item, the multi-purpose super robot, Thursday! Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Tired of after-thanks taking sales hassles? Leave it all to Thursday. He'll bring the entire mall right to your doorstep! 
Day Supercomputer makes preparing your taxes a cinch. No more buying tax software every year. What a great way to save. <laughs> now you can get your very own Thursday. With a free branch lopper and night set. All for just $29,990 hell. That's right, just $29,990 hell. Call right now. You neglected to mention the next episode. one, something big always happens. <laughs> I wonder what catastrophe will happen this time. The Prince! Several giant objects have appeared at the Stellar Graveyard, dude! That was quick. How many? Dude, there are billions of them! You hear that, Jennifer? The EDF is here to save us! We can go home! Wait, Gordon. We can't be so sure. Even if it was the EDF. Why would they send so many ships? Oh, come on. Why are you being so pessimistic? It's not like you. Well, why don't we go check it out? I agree. Sitting here won't do any good. All right, then. To the Stellar Graveyard. Soldiers of the EDF! I told you, Jennifer, just like I said! Hmm, I've never seen so many humans all at once. So, what'd they come all the way here for? Aren't they here to rescue Mr. Gordon? Don't you think they're acting kind of strange, though? What's wrong? Your beloved hero is right here! Hey, guys, it's me, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. Not very popular, are you? Poor Mr. Gordon. Don't be silly. I'm the Defender of Earth. All the kids love me. I had my own comic series and Saturday morning cartoon. But they don't seem all that impressed. Gordon, we've been used. Used? What do you mean, Jennifer? They asked us to defeat the Overlord, but their true purpose was to secure a route to the Netherworld. What are you saying, Jennifer? They are risking their lives to save us. How can you accuse them of... But, Gordon, can't you see? Enough of this. I don't want to hear it. I'm shocked and disappointed in you. I hereby dismiss you from your duties as my assistant. I see. I must have faith in the people of Earth. Unfaltering, unwavering faith. It's my duty as Defender of Earth. Right, guys? Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. You are to be terminated. What? Sucks to be you. All the kids love me, huh? Right. Poor Mr. Gordon. Die. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Hmm. Why would the EDF attack me? Duh! They stabbed you in the back. You're slow. Beep, beep, blip, beep. 
Captain Gordon. Incoming message from General Carter. Ah, Gordon! I see that you're still alive. What? <laughs> With your help securing a route, we were able to make it here unchallenged. Now, the Netherworld will be ours. I thank you, Defenders of Earth. <laughs> oh my god! We were being used! Um, are you just realizing that now? Aren't you happy, Flan? There's someone even dumber than you! Uh, <laughs> I knew of their plan all along! Liar! Gordon, you were a splendid pawn. I will tell the people of Earth that Captain Gordon died valiantly while fighting the Overlord. It's the least I can do for you. Well then, Gordon, so long. <laughs> hmm, there are some promising humans out there. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try to recruit him? Will you stop joking around? This is a serious matter! J Jennifer? She's probably hurt because you trusted them instead of her. Oh well, it's none of my business. Didn't you dismiss her just a minute ago, Gordon? Oh, poor Miss Jennifer. Uh, J Jennifer, about that dismissal... It's okay, Gordon. I deserve to be dismissed. Jennifer... Thursday, not the one to blame. All Gordon's fault. Oh... I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Long time no see, Gordon. Who's there? Uh. Curtis? That's right. Curtis, Defender of Earth. My goal was to defeat you, Gordon, but it seems I've overestimated you. Huh? What do you mean? I assumed that you had completed your mission and defeated the Overlord. I came here to settle things with you. But look at the facts. You failed your mission, and even worse, you've become the Overlord's slave. I'm embarrassed to call you my rival. He's right. That is embarrassing. You don't have the right to call yourself Defender of Earth, nor the right to fight me. So long. Curtis, wait. You're right. I didn't complete my mission. And in your eyes, it may seem that my current predicament is rather pathetic. What's he talking about? It is pathetic. It's getting good. But, but, I say, I have not lost my passion. I still have a hero's spirit. Words cannot describe the sensation. My soul burns brighter than ever before. And do you know why? Because the true enemy has appeared before my very eyes. Fine, then. If you insist, prove me wrong. I'll be waiting for you, Captain Gordon. Don't lose to these bunch of soldiers.
Jennifer has been really depressed lately. I wonder whose fault that is. Don't look at me like that. You should apologize. Y yeah? Um, Jennifer? Well, you see? It's all my fault. What? I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I knew what was happening, but I kept denying it. If only... if only I was stronger. What do you mean, Jennifer? What are you talking about? Who's there? Well done, Overlord. I thought I had completely masked my presence. You too. Getting this close without me noticing. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. My purpose was to settle things with Gordon, but now you've caught my attention. <laughs> and what have you got in mind? <laughs> you ask the obvious. Mono a mano. We shall speak with our fists. <laughs> Not bad. What's wrong? Why are you holding back? I'm ready to get serious, but I don't want to injure the VIP. What? Who's he talking about? Has he fallen in love with me? Oh, sweet! Where'd you get that idea? What the? Why is the ground shaking? That's... The Space Battleship Gargantua! We will now begin a full-scale attack with over two million battleships. But before that... Ah! Your father awaits you, Jennifer. Come with me. Father? I thought her parents passed away when she was a child. What? You didn't know? She is General Carter's foster child. What? I'm sorry, Gordon. What Curtis said is true. I was adopted by General Carter and raised as his child. He was a kind man. I always believed that he loved me. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. He raised me only so he could use me. If you're going to complain about your father, tell him yourself. My orders are simply to bring you back alive. He wants to use me again? It doesn't matter anymore. Wait! Jennifer, don't go! You're the assistant of Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Rem have you forgotten our sworn duty? Um, didn't you dismiss her? Shut up! Don't dig up the past! I retracted that! Jennifer, it doesn't matter if you're Carter's daughter or not. As the assistant to the Defender of Earth, listen to your heart. What is right? What do you believe in? And what will you do right now? Gordon. Enough talk. Gordon, Overlord, I'd like to settle this once and for all. If you want Jennifer back, then find a way aboard the Gargantua. Until then, see ya. Jennifer! Jennifer! To be continued. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. Nor did I. This may hinder our plans. Yes, indeed. What is troubling you? 
Is there something else? I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Someone must be pulling the strings. Do you have an idea of who it might be? I think so, but I cannot be certain. I see. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. <laughs> that is of little concern. Compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2. Damn it! Pesky humans! What do they want with the Netherworld, I wonder? Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back! How'd it go, Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work! Now we can board the ship directly! But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. Well, it seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. As Jennifer did? Then did she expect this to happen? I guess so. But she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. That's probably why she never told me about it. Hey, how long are you planning on sitting around? We can't just let the humans have their way. Let's go! I shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord! Yeah! We'll show them! That's right! I'm overwhelmed with hero spirit! I'll save Jennifer no matter what! <laughs> this is getting interesting. <laughs> Foolish, weak humans! Feel the wrath of the Overlord! Ha! General Carter! Demons have commenced an attack! Don't fret for even a moment. Our armada is two million ships strong. But our defensive fleet is being obliterated! What? What are the enemy's numbers? D just one, sir! Giving them time to escape before destroying their ships. <laughs> See? He's not devoid of love. Sh shut up! I just don't want to stink up the netherworld with human corpses. I'm not... Beep, beep, blip, beep. I energy reading emanating from cannon. Everybody, look out! Imbecile, now's not the time to be impressed. That's the Astro Cannon, the ETF's ultimate weapon. Demon or angel, you won't escape a shot unscathed. Hmm, interesting. Didn't you hear what Mr. Gordon said? Let's just avoid the cannon for now. What? That's no fun. Listen up, everyone. We have to find the entrance so we can sneak aboard. Hang in there, Jennifer. I'll save you. No matter what lies ahead, Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, will fight to the end. Papa. You're wrong, Papa. 
You must stop. Please, Papa, listen to me. Where am I? Are you awake? Curtis. Were you having a nightmare? You were tossing and turning. It doesn't matter. You won't have to worry about having those dreams anymore. C Curtis! That thing in your hand! You guessed it. Very good, Professor. You must know what it does, then. Stop it, Curtis! You call yourself human? Do I? I lost 70% of my body and something even more dear to me in an incident. Maybe I lost my sense of humanity at that time, too. It's time to sleep, sweet dreams. Ah! Hmm? That scream! It's Miss Jennifer! It's coming from that way! Let's go! More humans! No, they just don't learn, do they? Beep, beep. Blip, beep, they are not human. Life signs, 0. 0.000000. Everyone, be careful. These are superhuman androids constructed by Curtis. Super... human? Androids? That's right. Curtis is a brilliant scientist, rivaling even Jennifer. But he's been conducting fearful research, all in the name of humanity! <laughs> Could that scream be... No! He's attempting to modify Jennifer! He's attempting... to modify... Jennifer? Hey, stop imagining weird things! We have to save Jennifer! Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. From Carter? Okay, Thursday. Open a communication channel. Carter! <laughs> You're being a sore loser, Gordon. Of course. I can't let a villain like you win for the sake of Earth. I swear by the name Defender of Earth, Carter, I will defeat you! You just don't get it, do you? This invasion is for the sake of Earth. What? As you know, the Earth is confronting a serious crisis. The boom in population, the rise in crime, and the shortage of natural resources. The human race can't survive much longer. It would require an astronomical budget merely to find a new home for the people of Earth. That's why taking over the Netherworld is such a simple and economical solution. Hmm. Your efforts are admirable. You'd make a great demon. But there wouldn't be a crisis in the first place if you humans weren't so stupid. As the overlord of the Netherworld, let me say just one thing. Clean up your own damn mess. <sighs> you foul-mouthed little runt! I have something to add to that. General Carter, I am beyond angry! Give back my Jennifer, Chrome Dome! Why, you? You can't play nice. And neither will I. I'll crush you for the sake of Earth's future. Prepare yourselves. Curtis! Glad you could make it, Gordon. I knew the hordes of security guards wouldn't be enough to stop you. I thought you might like to know. It's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Hey, he's giving us his life story. Should we attack now? No, we have to listen. The rival always has a tragic past. May I continue? Oh, please, by all means. As I was saying, it's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Back then, I was a top scientist, burning with a passion to save the Earth, if it wasn't for that fateful incident. Five years ago? As a result of the explosion in the lab, I lost my family and 70% of my body. A group of anti-space development terrorists were to blame. You mean your wife and daughter were victims of that incident? That's right. 
You caught the culprits, but what comfort would that be to me? I swore to my wife and child, since the Defender of Earth couldn't do his job, I would take his place. And I became a cyborg to do just that. What good is a Defender of Earth if he can't save innocent people? A true Defender would do anything in his power to save as many people as possible. I can't accept anything less. I will defeat you, Gordon, and claim the title of true Defender of Earth. That is the only path left to me. So that's it. I didn't know you had such a past, Curtis. It was all due to my failings. Forgive me. But what you're doing now, Curtis, is not the right way. What? I'm fighting for the sake of humanity. Invading the Netherworld might save the Earth, but it would require many sacrifices. Is that what you want? Is that really for the sake of Earth? You should know best what it feels like to be a victim, Curtis. What will your wife and daughter think up in heaven? I am the Defender of Earth. My duty is to right what is wrong, even if it means that I must face a comrade in arms. I don't want to fight you, but this is for your own good. Here I come, comrade. Behold, the true spirit of a defender! You've... proven me wrong. I felt the true defender's spirit. The strength of your determination. Even in this mechanical body. I lost. Now, finish me. Okay. We'll kill you in one painless blow. You can't! Curtis, our battle has already ended. You tried to do what you thought was right. It's just that your sorrow drove you to do it in the wrong way. That's why I want you to fight by my side, as a comrade. How about it? Gordon... I could use a skilled person like you as one of my vassals. <laughs> the Overlord's vassal? That doesn't sound too bad. But it seems that my body needs to recharge. I must sleep for a while. Gordon? Be careful of Jennifer. Curtis! Be careful of Jennifer? What does he mean by that? Be careful... of... Jennifer? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Modification? Mm -hmm. Modification. Will you three grow up already? We finally got you cornered, Carter! Release Jennifer now! As you wish. Jennifer! Hey. Uh, huh? That's not what I expected. Me neither. Hey, you call this a modification? <laughs> so you found out about it, eh? That's right. I've installed a neural override device. Neural override? Exactly. Jennifer is now my puppet. Jennifer, go defeat Gordon. <laughs> this must be a joke. I, the Defender of Earth, could never lose to such a delicate creature. Jeez, <laughs> you're weak. Gordon. Maybe you're not cut out to be a hero. <laughs> what do you think of that? Jennifer is a master of the ancient martial art, Kung Fu. What? I never knew that. You never asked. That explains it. So what am I supposed to do? 
No way can I use my full fighting potential against Jennifer. You lose anyways, man. How about we just blow up the entire ship? Oh, no you don't. I already claimed this ship. Ah, uh, I see. Well, so much for that idea. Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, facing his greatest challenge ever! How pathetic, Gordon. What happened to that spirit you were bragging about? Curtis, you're better already! Hm. Your voice woke my heart up to the ideals I forgot long ago. Stand aside. Let me show you my Defender spirit. Jennifer! Kill that traitor first! Gordon, you called me a comrade. I... I looked up to you. That's why I became a scientist in the first place. Funny, isn't it? How did things end up like this? If only I had realized sooner. No, it's enough that I realized it in the end. I bet they're smiling down on me from heaven. Jennifer, stop wasting your time with that miserable traitor. Curse you all! I'll just blow you all up and Jennifer too. In case of an event like this, I blew the bomb inside the neural override device. <laughs> now die! I made that device, and I know its weakness. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't let you die here! Oh! Curtis! Hey, Gordon. Do you think I could ever be a true defender of Earth? Yeah, yeah, of course you could be. What am I saying? You are a true defender of Earth! <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. I won't forget the defender spirit. You showed me. I should be the one thanking you, Curtis. You will be known as the 38th Defender of Earth. Heed my words, Death. I command you in the name of King Laharl. Lead the soul of Curtis, Defender of Earth, to his family's side. Prince? Laharl? Don't say a word. As the overlord of the netherworld, I was just paying homage to a true hero. That's all. Yes, I understand. Carter, I'll never forgive you! <gasps> Wait, Gordon! Jennifer, you're back to normal! Yes. I was conscious the entire time I was being controlled. Because of me, Curtis... He did what he thought was right. I'm sure he has no regrets. And now his spirit will burn brightly in your heart. Yeah, you're right. Jennifer, you are no longer my assistant. Fight alongside me as an equal, as a defender of Earth. Thank you, Gordon. I understand. Let's forget about the past and concentrate on the present. Wait, wait! Jennifer! I'm your father! Have you forgotten everything that I've done for you? No, I haven't. If you hadn't taken me in back then, I might not be here today. I loved you and believed in you. But we were never a true family to begin with. You raised me only so you could manipulate me. I'll never call you father again. Prepare yourself, Carter. <laughs> you ungrateful little... That's it. Die! A celestial host? Why? Why are angels helping him? 
Apparently, someone's been pulling strings from behind the scenes. Celestia's involved, huh? It just keeps getting better, Prince. It can't be! Is this the will of the Seraph? <laughs> you may have foiled my plans this time, but I'm not through yet. Wait, Carter! <laughs> Farewell! I can't believe it! Demons are that powerful? His information was completely wrong. Damn it! Is he trying to drive humanity into extinction from the beginning? Who is he? Oh! Who... who are you? No matter how advanced your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. It, it's a man with white wings. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. I see. Foolish human, you cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego. Until you realize that, you will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. Oh, why am I so awesome? Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature! I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace and to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. What? I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions. like one problem leads to another. We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels. Now, Flan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself. What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the netherworld is in your hands! This must be a dream! Is acting all serious! Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? It's the end of the world! End of the world? Danger, danger, danger! After learning that Celestia was behind the incident with the Earth Defense Force, I made up my mind to go back to Celestia to ask the Seraph about it directly. The Netherworld, Celestia, the Human World. I never imagined that this war, which involved the entire universe, would come to such an unexpected end. Your mind's made up? Yes. I must speak with the Seraph and find out what has been happening in Celestia. Do you realize that you may have to face him as an enemy? Face Master Lamington as my enemy? He's the head of Celestia, right? 
We know that someone in Celestia has been helping the EDF. He must have known about it. I agree. I think it's very possible that he's even the mastermind. Wasn't he the one who ordered you to go to the Netherworld in the first place? To assassinate my old man? What? An angel ordering an assassination? That's just wrong! He's guilty without a doubt! No, he's not! Can you say that for sure? I believe in Master Lamington. I see. All right then, let's get going. It's a good opportunity for me to check out this so-called Seraph. I'm going with you. Laharl! Jeez, Prince, why don't you just admit it? I'm worried about Flan, so I'm gonna go with her. What's so hard about that, huh? F fool that's far from the truth! Now, now, we all feel the same way, Harley. Jennifer's right. As the defender of Earth, I cannot let my comrade go alone. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. We are comrades. We go together. End of discussion. Huh. <laughs> Bunch of fools. Everybody! Final episode, What Lies Beyond the Battle. So, this is the entrance to Celestia. It is said that one of the former Seraphs had this gate constructed to cut off the Netherworld from Celestia. That's why it can only be opened by the residents of Celestia. Hmm, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to open the gate. Is everybody ready? Bonjour, everyone. It is a pleasure to see you here. Oh, it's you, Mr. Midboss. Weren't you saying earlier that only Celestians can open this gate? Oh, um, that's strange. <laughs> It has been thousands of years since a demon other than moi passed through this gate. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all clear to me now. You're an evil henchman who's been hired by the Seraph. Psst, wrong! I know! You're an angel in disguise! Psst, another wrong answer! You all have very active imaginations, but I, the Dark Adonis, just happen to be passing by. Nothing more. So, Dark Adonis, why is it that you're in Celestia? I am here to test your resolve. What? From this point on, you will face challenges unlike anything you have experienced before. Whether or not you can emerge victorious, I would like to see with my own eyes. But what does that have to do with you? Why do you care? Answer me! <laughs> we have talked long enough. Show me what you are capable of. <laughs> Your teamwork is impressive. I commend you for having come so far. Huh? Where's the usual pathetic excuse of yours? Demons, angels, humans? Rather than learn about each other, they use words such as good and evil to differentiate themselves. That is the sad truth. Wait, that reminds me of something Master Lamington once said to me. However, through our battle, you have proved to me that regardless of our differences, all creatures can become one in spirit. As long as you bear that in mind, I am sure you can overcome any ordeal. Ah, uh, Prince, something's definitely wrong. Midboss is acting all serious. Y yeah, this must be a trap of some sort. Who are you, really? <laughs> as I said, I am the Dark Adonis. Farewell! <laughs> so, what was that all about? Beats me. I think Mr. Midboss was trying to encourage us in his own way. He is a true rival indeed. Oh, the beauty of friendship between rivals. Were we all listening to the same conversation? 
Master Lamington! Master Lamington! We have an emergency! What is the matter? That traitor Flan has begun her invasion of Celestia, leading a battalion of demons! The day has finally come. We are prepared to intercept the demons! I will lead the troops myself, with your permission, of course. Very well. I shall leave the matter to you. But I want them captured unharmed. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Captured? Nonsense! I will kill them amidst the confusion. It is only a matter of time before I become a god. And that is when I, Volcanus, shall establish absolute peace in the universe! <laughs> Target confirmed. Proceeding as ordered. Hmm. Are these your fellow Celestians? Yes, but they are full-fledged angels. I don't think they're here to give you a warm welcome back, though. Angel Trainee Flan, by order of Archangel Volcanus, you are to be executed for treason. Wait! Please! I haven't committed treason! Volcanus is mistaken! Your objections are meaningless. You are a traitor and must be executed. Please let me see the Seraph! I know he will straighten everything out! Request denied. We were given no such orders. Our orders are to execute Angel Trainee Flan and all that assist her. I beg you! Listen to me! Flan, don't waste your breath. Yeah, these morons haven't listened to a word you've said. I... I... I can't fight! What happened to all that determination of yours? If you're just gonna give up, then why did you bother to come? Harley, you're being too harsh on her. Jennifer's right. As a defender, I cannot tolerate such treatment of a lady. It's okay. Laharl is right. I thought I had made up my mind. But once I face the reality of the situation, I... No, I can't be like this. I'm sorry. I'm all right now. Thank you, Laharl. Just don't waste my time with any more talk of giving up, or else I'm out of here. I understand. Huh. Then let's hurry up and kick some angel butt! Okay! You have demonstrated resistance. The use of deadly force is authorized against all opposition. Be my guest. Show me what you've got! In a while, Flan. Master Volcanus! What? Don't tell me he's an angel! You've got to be kidding! No matter how you look at it, that's a face of a villain! True, you look so evil, it's a pity that you're an angel. Silence! How dare you look at my glorious face and call me a villain! Angel Trainee Flan! To conspire with demons to wage war on Celestia is <laughs> an unspeakable sin. Not only that, but you have armed innocent angels. You deserve nothing short of death! I, the Archangel Vokinus, shall carry out your sentence. Why 
dead traitor! It disgusts me to even speak to you! Master Volcanus! Why? Why am I a traitor? Stop pretending to be innocent! We all know that you are conspiring with demons so that you can take over Celestia! And on top of that, you tricked that stupid Defender of Earth into fighting for your cause! How despicable! It is our responsibility as angels to destroy demons, the root of all evil, and watch over the helpless human race to renounce your sublime duty and join forces with these foul demons is simply unforgivable. Hey, who the hell do you think you are? Wait! Please, let me handle this. Master Volcanus, I pity you. What? You believe that demons are evil, that humans are helpless, and that you alone are right. But I know that demons can show kindness, and humans can be brave. Without seeking proof, you have allowed your judgment to be colored by prejudice. Isn't the evil which you speak of in your own heart, Master Volcanus? What? Well said, Juan. Yeah, you hit it right on the nose. Right on. Me, me, sleep, me. I am deeply moved. I see that the Defender's spirit has awakened within you, too. From this day forward, you shall be known as a Defender of Earth. You, you, evil in my heart. Never. I am only doing what is right. And I will prove that to you, here and now, with your death. Go, soldiers! Kill them all! Something's not right. Huh? What do you mean? We've made it this far, but still haven't seen any sign of the Seraph. That's true. If the Seraph is not involved in any of this, then why hasn't he come out and saved Flaunt? So, you're saying the fact that he hasn't shown up can only mean... I understand your point. But, I'll believe in Master Lamington until the very end! Geez, you are stubborn! Don't tell me it's because of love again! Yes, it is! Absolutely! To have faith in someone you respect, that's love! Oh, what a love freak! Well, I don't trust the Seraph myself, but I guess I can tag along. Edna! I'll help you, Flan. I believe in you. Me too. I trust in your love. Beep, beep, blip, beep. I will accompany you too. Miss Jennifer, Mr. Gordon, Mr. Thursday. This is ridiculous. You guys are so naive. Hmm? Does that mean you're leaving, Prince? Fool! How can I turn back now when I haven't seen the Seraph? I'll go on even if it's by myself! Laharl! Everybody, thank you so much! I'm glad that I met all of you! I have harmed my own kind! No matter how this journey ends, I will receive severe punishment! But I have no regrets! I was able to meet such wonderful companions! <laughs> I'm surprised that you made it this far. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everybody, be careful. Whenever a villain appears and talks like this, there's always a trap. Who are you calling a villain? <laughs> this will keep your filthy mouth shut. Evil born from the darkness of chaos, abide by the pact and annihilate my foes! Demon summoning? How can this be? Making a 
pact with demons is strictly forbidden by our law. Watch out! These aren't ordinary demons! Scan them, Thursday! Beep, beep, blip, beep, immeasurable power and endurance. Danger, danger, danger! <laughs> I have enlisted these greater demons for an occasion such as this. They were eager to sign the contract when I told them that they could have the Netherworld in exchange for your death. See, Prince, how many times have I told you to be a better role model for your subjects? Shut up! Now's not the time! <laughs> Enjoy fighting your own kind! <laughs> Take care of this many greater demons. What's the plan? Should we retreat? You think they'll let us retreat? But what else can we do? Come on! I don't recall having friends that lose their cool in front of their adversaries. Who is this? Don't you recognize me? These eyes full of hope and resolution. The spirit that burns within me. And this bold and valiant stature. Who else could it be? It is I, Curtis. Curtis? You mean that Curtis? That's right. Curtis, defender of Earth. What? I thought you were with your family in heaven. That's what I had hoped for, but I committed too many sins in my lifetime. I was given a different form to make up for what I did. I have returned to atone for my sins and to help my precious friends. Curtis! <laughs> Don't laugh! It's not like I had a choice. I... I'm sorry. It, it, it's just that you're so darn cute. I rushed here thinking you guys needed me, and this is what I get? Maybe I shouldn't have bothered to come. No, Curtis, I am grateful that you're here. Your words have rekindled the flame in each of our hearts. Right, everyone? He went through all of that just for us. We can't give up now, can we? Of course not. As king of the netherworld, I will show these demons who's in charge. The power of our friendship is increasing. I think we can do it. Uh, am I supposed to find that reassuring? There is nothing to worry about. Friendship power beats anything. Jeez! Anyways, let's do it! Alright! <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, sure. You were about to run away when I got here. I, I, I only suggested a temporary strategic retreat. That's totally different from running away. Now, now. Let's just say that the power of our friendship brought us victory. This conversation's going nowhere. Let's move on. Right. We still have that villain to defeat. 
What's up ahead, Flan? Let's see. We are about to enter the Seraphic Sanctuary. Besides Master Lamington, only sentries and high-ranking angels are allowed inside. Hmm, sounds interesting. Please, stay alert. There's no telling what Master Volcanus might do at this point. There's no need to be concerned. Who do you think I am? I am Laharl, the Overlord! Hmm, so this is where the Seraph lives. I don't see much of value. Too bad. What was your reason for coming? Shh! Quiet! This is the Seraphic Sanctuary. Those without permission to be here must leave the premises immediately. Who are they? These are the angelic sentries. They will guard the Seraph at any cost. They are protected by a special force field which is impervious to all forms of attack. That can't be! It must have a weakness! Analyze the force field, Thursday! Beep, beep, blip, beep. Analyzing force field. 20%, 55%, 90%. Analysis completed. It has no weakness. Invincible, invincible, invincible. What? That's not fair! It doesn't matter if there's a weakness or not. All we gotta do is blast them away with our power. Edna, we'll show these angels what we think of their force fields. Okay, Prince! Effect? Impossible! <laughs> Seems like it's a little too much for you two. Now it's our turn. Jennifer, Thursday, let's show them how it's done. Okay, Gordon. Beep, beep, bleep, beep, Roger, Captain. Ultimate, Ultimate Defender, Defender Formation, Formation, Space Triangle! Triangle. Formation attack isn't powerful enough either? Are they truly invincible? It's not time to give up yet. Don't forget that you have me on your side. Let's combine our defender spirits together. True ultimate, ultimate defender formation. Plasma Quartet! You've got to be kidding me! It didn't even make a scratch! No! Attacking separately won't do any good! We must all unite our hearts! Unite our hearts? That's right! Whether we're angels, demons, or humans, we all share the same feelings! And if we focus those feelings together, we can accomplish anything! How can you say something like that with a straight face? Laharl! All right, all right. So the point is we all attack at the same time, right? Then let's do it! On the count of three! One, two, three! Now, let our love and friendship unite! Galaxy, Galaxy Omega, Omega Star! Star! Yes! We've destroyed the force field! We did it! Hey, Flan, 
Did I hear something about love and friendship just now? Yes, you did. So what about it? What do you mean, what about it? I keep telling you that I don't feel stuff like that. <laughs> Think whatever you want, Laharo. What did you say? Uh, Prince, now that their force fields are down, isn't this our chance? Yeah, but we'll continue this discussion later. Don't forget. Okay, okay. Whew. He hasn't gotten any less stubborn, that's for sure. Oh, well. Volcanus! Because you were just a trainee, I underestimated you. But now that you've defeated greater demons, as well as angelic sentries, I must recognize your strength. What's going on? He got so serious all of a sudden. Did he hit his head or something? Beats me. These angels, you never know what they're thinking. Um, were you referring to me too? Of course I was. Silence! Where are your manners? Don't you wish to know my true purpose? Your purpose? <laughs> I bet it's just some selfish fantasy. No, if he thought it was necessary to involve the Earth and humankind, then it must be something really important. You are correct. My goal is noble indeed. To become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. Absolute ruler? Aw, oh, gee, I'm disappointed. Like Curtis said, you're just fulfilling a selfish fantasy. No, 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 no. Heavens forbid. It is not for my own benefit. Peace can only be established in the universe under the watchful eye of an omnipotent ruler. Mr. Volcanus, that is your goal? But peace is not something that can be achieved by the will of one individual. It is only possible when everybody joins hands and works together. You are too naive, Lon. Such a pacifistic approach is doomed to fail because of these deceitful demons and foolish humans. That's not true. Demons and humans are capable of... Silence! What do you know about them? I am all too aware. Their cruelty, their vileness in their hearts. Master Volcanus. He's not gonna listen to you, Flan. Well, maybe he'll be more submissive with a little physical persuasion. Uh, Prince, I hope you didn't mean it that way. The time has come. I will eliminate you and deal with the Seraph next, and then I will be a god! From this day forth, I shall be known as Volcanus, the Peace Bringer! How can this be? My goal, my duty, my dream, they've all been shattered by these heathens! Have you still not realized it, Master Volcanus? You wanted to bring peace to the universe regardless of the means. Even if you had succeeded, could you call it true peace? Please consider us as an example, Master Volcanus. We have worked together to come this far with our hearts united as one. Can this not be considered the first step towards peace? Ha <laughs> ha! Enough of your idealistic rambling. Misguided words would convince me to repent. My beliefs cannot be shaken so easily. The game's not over yet. I'll just convince the Seraph to finish the job for me. You and he can kill each other. <laughs> Master Volcanus. 
brat, we let him escape. Any normal villain would have been moved to tears by those words and begged for forgiveness. His conviction is strong. He won't change his mind so easily. He intends to start a fight between us and the Seraph. He'll probably make us look like the bad guys and tell the Seraph some horrible lie. How does he come up with all these dirty tricks? It's really too bad that he's an angel. Well, it looks like a battle with the Seraph is inevitable. Are you ready for it, Flan? Yes! I don't know exactly what will happen, but I must tell Master Lamington everything that's on my mind. I know he'll understand. I see. Then tell him straight to his face. I will! This is the Seraph's personal chamber. We call it the Sacred Altar. Is everybody ready? Ready. Anytime. I'm all set. I can feel my heart pounding. Beep, beep, blip, beep. System functioning at 100%. Thursday is good to go. Come on, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Mr. Lamington! Flan? M -M Master Lamington! She is a traitor who has come to take over Celestia with her abominable troops of demons! Stop lying! You're the one who's planning to take over the entire universe! S -s Silence, demon! Hmm. So you are a demon? Not just an ordinary demon. I am Laharl, King of the Netherworld! You are the son of Krichevskoy. I see. Flan. Yes, Master Lamington. Is it true that you are here with these demons to take over Celestia? No, I have come to ask you a question. A question, you say? Yes. A few days ago, the Earth Defense Force led an invasion on the Netherworld. It was fortunate that it failed, but I discovered that angels were involved in the invasion. Please answer me! Were you behind this, Master Lamington? M -m -m Master Lamington, do not be fooled by her words. All that she has said is a lie! Angels using humans to invade the netherworld? <laughs> that is simply absurd! It's not a lie! I saw it with my own eyes! Without a doubt, they were angels! You are mistaken! The demons must have tricked you! While it is true that demons are aggressive by nature, they do not hurt others without reason! My friends here have convinced me of that! <laughs> this is quite unusual, Flon. You, a Celestial, refer to demons as friends and defend their behavior. Mr. Lamington, at your request, I went to the Netherworld, and there I met Laharl and my other friends. Demons may not be perceived as good. As a matter of fact, they are rather selfish, rude, and cynical. Hey! But... But I have also discovered that they have love and kindness in their hearts. Mr. Lamington, I remember you telling me that there is no such thing as absolute evil, that even demons have love. As I spent time in the netherworld, I came to realize that you were right. It also occurred to me that perhaps we Celestians have judged demons too harshly. Yep, especially this Volcanus guy. Oh, how dare you! Flan, I see that you have learned many things in the netherworld. Mr. Lamington! You are not mistaken. What? It is true that Celestians have been blinded by prejudice. Refusing to try and understand our cultural differences, they instead chose to label demons as evil. They convinced themselves that they were the avatars of absolute good and branded demons as absolute evil. Volcanus' choices have been the result of such misconceptions and his concern for the future. 
I should have been more mindful of these things. Master Lamington! Did you think that I was oblivious to your actions, Volcanus? I am well informed of all that has transpired. <laughs> Angel Trainee Flon. You have helped save the Netherworld from the invasion of the Earth Defense Force and thwarted the plans of Archangel Volcanus. However, the fact remains that you have harmed other angels. You are to be punished for your sin. I understand. I am prepared to accept any punishment. Wait a minute! Why does Flan have to be punished? It makes no sense whatsoever. She only did what was right. Don't you dare lay a finger on her. You'll be sorry if you do. It's all right. I knew there would be consequences for my actions. Flan! Master Lamington, I have one final request. I beg of you to forgive my companions. It is I who drew them into all of this. This is crazy, Flan. Why should you be punished? You've done nothing wrong. Very well. I shall pardon their sins. I am grateful for your kindness. Flan! Thank you, Laharo. I knew I could trust in you. You've taught me that demons do have love in their hearts. This doesn't make any sense to me. We're done here, aren't we? Let's go back to the Netherworld. Laharo, I want you to have this pendant. Th stop! That's... Laharo! Hurry up and take it! My hand is burning! Oh, okay! The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. That's the pendant we had to look for! You wanted to burn me again? Ah! Huh? Hey, something's wrong! It's not doing anything! <laughs> Just as I thought. What do you mean? The wickedness has faded from your heart, Laharo. That's why the pendant isn't punishing you anymore. What? That can't possibly be right! I'm a demon! The Overlord! I'm so glad. I can say goodbye without any worries now. Goodbye? Flan? You're going. Goodbye, Laharo. I hope you become a magnificent overlord. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. Wait! Run! Goodbye! The existence of Angel Trainee Flan has been erased, along with her sins. Flan! Hey, Flan! What are you doing? I didn't say you could do this! You're going to abandon me, like my mother did! I didn't give you permission! Is this what you call love? If it is, then I'll never believe in love! Ever! Prince! King Laharo, do you despise me? Despise you? Of course I do, you bastard! Kill you. I'll kill you! Ah! This is my punishment. I willingly accept it. Prince? I've had enough of this. Huh? It's not like this will bring her back. 
Besides, if that love freak was here, she would have stopped me anyway. Prince? What is this? A tear? Hmm. I never knew I could shed tears. Etna. Yes? I leave the rest to you. <sighs> Prince! What are you planning on doing? You're not planning on... I think I finally understand why my mother sacrificed herself to save me. You want to exchange your life for hers? Is that even possible? Who knows? But this is the least I can do for her now. Harley! Farewell. Prince! Ah! Wait! What do you want now? As you can see, I'm busy. We'll call this your victory, so don't bother me. I am glad that you have come to terms with your mother's decision. You should thank your companions for teaching you the importance of love and friendship. What? Do not throw away the life that your mother gave you. Here, look. Indeed you were. You are no longer an angel trainee. Now you are a fallen angel. What the? Flan! Your wings! I'm... I'm... <laughs> that is the punishment she received from Seraph Lamington. What? Then he wasn't gonna kill her in the first place? Of course not. She is a very important person, not only to Celestia, but to the Netherworld as well. What is that supposed to mean? Celestia and the Netherworld were not always in opposition. Seraph Lamington and another person of influence dreamed of reuniting them. He sent Angel Trainee Flan to the Netherworld to begin bridging the gap between the two worlds. Laharl, Flan, you are the knot that binds the two worlds together. We're the knot? <laughs> I am sure that one day you will understand. Tell me, who are you really? Why do you know so much? <laughs> Have I not told you before? I am the Dark Adonis. My presence here is merely coincidence. Become a magnificent overlord, Laharl. Huh. You don't have to tell me. I'll build a legacy even greater than my old man's. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>